Inhaling, bring the arms on either side. Stretch the arms, stretch the fingers. Exhaling, bring the arms down. Inhale. Exhaling, arms forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, longer than five seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhaling, bring the right arm down. Look at your left arm, look at your right arm, side to side. And change. Inhale, exhale. And release. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers, turn the palms up, stretch along at this part. A little bit more. Exhaling, bend to the right. Inhale, exhaling, bend to the other side. Keep the arms straight, parallel to each other, closer to the ears. And release. So now let's practice arm rotation. Inhale, exhale, right side. Continue to take deeper inhalation and a long exhalation. And reverse. And release. Change. Go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse. Now rotate both the arms. Be gentle. And reverse. And release. Now bring your shoulders up, in, out, down, up, in, out, down. Now gently let's practice chest rotation. If you have any back issues, do not lean forward. And reverse. And release. Now let's practice the wrist bending. Stay there for a few moments.
and change. And release. Now make a fist and rotate. And reverse. And release. Now gently shake your arms. And now let's practice shoulder rotations. Inhaling, stretch your arms. Exhaling, bring the arms to the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. And arms forward. Inhale, exhale. And bring the arms up. Inhale, exhale. Now let's practice the shoulder rotations. And reverse. And release. Bring your shoulders up, in, out, down. So now let's practice the neck rotations. Inhaling, bring the chin up. Be gentle. Feel that contraction on the back of the neck. Exhale. Now turn your head from side to side. Inhale, exhale to one side. Inhale, exhale to the other side. And gently bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to the left shoulder. Do not raise the shoulder. Let the ear come to the shoulder. And release. Now turn your head to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Bring the left arm to the right. Increase your peripheral. Gently hold the Continue to keep your breath awareness. So the breath awareness activates the parasympathetic system. Do not let the mind wander. Enjoy the freshness of the morning. And change. And you can always continue to chant your Mantra in each asana, mentally. Mm. 
bring the right arm to the left. Increase your peripheral view. Be gentle. And release. Now, drop your right ear to the right shoulder. Left ear to the left shoulder. Stay there on the right side. And extend your left arm. Extend, extend, extend. Hold there. Feel the connection with the fingertips. And mentally scan the left arm. Home one. Home two. Home three. Continue the focus. And change. Left ear to the left shoulder. Extend your right arm. And release. Now gently pull the head towards the right. Extend your left arm. Continue to mentally scan the left arm. And change. And release. Now bring the palms to the back of your knee. Bring chin to the chest. Gently hold there. Feel that stretch elongation in the back of the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale. Inhale. Now place the palms on the forehead and look up. And release. Now let's practice the neck rotations, semicircles, right ear to the right to left, left to right. Make sure that you are comfortable. Now, full circle. Inhale if you can. Exhale. And reverse. And release. Now bring the left arm all the way to the right. Turn your head to the left. Hold it.
and change. And release. So now let's practice the hand clenching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Be gentle. And bring the arms forward. And now I'm so. And release. Now take away the blanket. Bend your knees. Drop the knees from side to side, knees to the right. Keep the knees together. Knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. Continue to use your breath, conscious breathing. Inhale, exhale. And separate the feet. Right knee to the left. Left knee to the right. And release. And practice half body fly. And the spinal twist, gentle spinal twist. And the spinal twist. And release. So now bend your toes. 
point your feet, flex, point, flex. And rotate the ankles. And reverse. And release. Now you may lie down on your mat and relax. Now, inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Feel that slight stretch in the lower back. Stay there. Exhaling, bring the arms back to the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now bend your knees. Keep the knees together. Drop the knees to the right. Turn the head to the left. Knees to the left. Turn the head to the right. Side to side. And release. Now shift over to your abdomen. Let's practice some back bends. Put your forehead down. Extend your arms forward. And relax. And practice their dispersal. Five seconds in here, then exhale. And come back. Practice Matsukridas now. change
And if you have any discomfort, do not hold too long. And keep your awareness on the spine. Now bring the right heel to the right heel, left heel to the left heel, one heel at a time. Now both the heels to both the hips. And rotate. And reverse. And release. Relax on your cheek in Machakridasana. And come back. Now come to all fours. Practice the cat and dog stretch. See, we are practicing, we're having a gentle practice since we got some break. Press the palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Push the navel down. Look up. Inhale. Continue to breathe. And round the back. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Squeeze that down. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now bring the right foot all the way to the left. Turn your head to the left. Look at your right foot. And change. Left foot all the way to the right. Turn your head to the right. Hold it. And come back. Sit on the heels. Put your head down. Relax.
Surrender to gravity, let go of all your effort. And you may come back to the mat. Practice the butterfly. And hold the knees, gently bring the knees down. And practice the tabletop. Press your palms on the floor, raise into tabletop. And release. So once again, come back to the mat. Practice the power mukhtas. Now keep your feet together. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Point your feet. Feel that stretch in the lower back. And push the hips back. Point the feet. Create a gap between lower spine and the mat. Stay there for a few breaths. And push the hips back. And release. Now bend the right knee, rotate the right knee and right hip. And reverse. So place the right foot on the left side. Bring the knee down on the left side. Extend your right arm. Make sure your right shoulder is on the floor. Stay there. Turn the head to the right. Change. Hold the left, rotate the left knee and left cross. And reverse. Now left foot, bring the left, left knee to the right side. Extend your left arm. Gently hold it. And release. 
Now bring both the rays into the chest. Exhale, inhale. Rotate the knees and hips. Give a massage to the back. And reverse. And practice the bridge pose. Gentle bridge pose. Raise your hips. Come into Setu Bandhanasana. Exhale. Inhale. Raise the right leg. Straighten the right leg. Come back. One more time. Straighten the left leg. Now let's practice leg lifts. Extend your arms on either side. Relax the breath. Point your feet. Push the heels back. With the next inflation, muster all your energy. Raise the feet to 90 degrees. Stay there. If you have any back issues, you are having back pain, please come down and relax. Now, rotation. Join the feet at the bottom. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse. Join the feet at the top. Open them at the bottom. And release. Now raise your right leg. Raise the left leg. One leg at a time. Keep the knee straight. See, what we are doing, we are improving the range of motion. Right? So that's very important. Now, the leg rotation, hip rotation, right side, make large circuits. Do not bend at the knee to the extent possible and reverse. And change. And reverse. And reverse. Now, if you can, raise both the feet. Make circles. This is optional. And reverse. And release. Relax the breath. Now practice the bridge pose one more time. Raise your hips. This time, grab, grab hold of your ankles or place the palms under the heels. Raise into bridge. Exhale. 
and come back, relax. Now once again, shift over to your abdomen. Relax on your cheek. And let's practice the Puja Das. Place the palms under the shoulders, elbows tucked to the body. Relax the breath. Master all your energy with the next inflation. Then to Cobra pose. Inhale. Bend at the elbows. Keep the pelvis on the floor. Bend back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And uh, relax in much great last night. And change. And come back. Now practice the Shalabhasana. Keep the chin down like a fist. Bring the fist under the ground area. And raise your legs. Do not raise the chin. Keep it on the floor. Stay there. And release. Relax. So now, once again, come back to our course. Practice the cat and dog stretch. Now straighten the right leg, raise the left arm, look up. And change. Straighten the left leg, raise the right leg. One more time, right side, stretch the right leg, stretch the left arm as if you are reaching for an object. Change. Continue. Now drop the chin on the right side, raise on the left side. In the X. And reverse. Uh, 
and sit on the hips, relax. Now from here, come to downward dog. Let's get ready for standing poses. Bring the right heel down, left heel down. Be gentle with the ankle. And walk the feet forward. Get ready for standing poses. Let's practice the hip rotation. And reverse. Then I'll bring the arms to the lower back, middle. And practice the Tadasana. It's always a good idea to practice the Tadasana first before proceeding with other poses. And this can be practiced by everyone. Even if you have any back pain, press the four corners of the feet down. Feet as close as you can without losing the balance. Inhale. Interlock your fingers. Turn the palms up. Stretch. Stretch the upper body up, lower body up. Stretch, stretch. You are stretching the body in both the directions. Let the arms go behind the ears. Exhale. Now. Bring the right heel to the right hip, left heel to the left. Extend the right. Raise the knees. So now let's practice the Trikonasana. Take a block. Walk the feet to the sides. So initially, let's practice the Lagu Sarvanga. Bend to the right. Align the shoulders. Don't lean forward or lean back like this. Align the shoulders to the extent possible. Drop the right arm. Bring the left arm over. And change. Drop the left arm. Bring the right arm. Now, since we are already here, let's practice the corners. Turn the right foot out, left foot in. Make sure the outer edge of the left foot is on the floor. And take a block if necessary. Okay? You don't need a block, that's okay. So take a block and keep it outside the right foot. So you're not turning the torso. The torso is facing the wall. Left foot in, right foot out. And keep the block outside the right foot. Raise the left arm. Do not bend at the knees. Do not exceed your capacity.
bring the left arm over the left ear. And change. Turn the left foot out, right foot in. And take the blocks to block to the other side. Raise the right arm. Gentle practice. Bring the right arm over the right. And release. Now practice the rotation. Very gentle. Especially be careful with the forward bends. In and reverse. Very good. So let's practice the Surya Namaskars now. Battery 100%. Connected to Palaji Valpada 2. Stay in the pause until the next mantra. Oh, 
What is straight for the man?
for a few moments. And keep a strap ready. Let's practice Pada Nushtasana. Relax. Sit on the heels and relax. So now lie down on your back and practice Father and Vishnasana. Start with the right side. And do not bend at the knee. Or do not lock them, keep the knee flexible. 
you lock the knee, you could induce the knee, stay there. Now bring the right foot all the way to the right side. Extend your left arm forward. Now bring the right foot all the way to the left. Hold there. And change. Go to the other side. So you notice the tightness in the calf muscles, hamstrings. It's important that we stretch those muscles. And bring the left foot all the way to the left. Extend your right arm, still. And bring the left foot all the way to the right. Extend your left arm. Stay there. Make sure left shoulder is on the floor. And release. So now bring the knees into the chest. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Open the knees. Open. Close. Open. Close. And rotate the knees and hips. Give a massage to the back. And reverse. Now, raise your feet, press the feet down, bring one knee down at, the, at a time, right knee down, left knee down, and swing forward and and stand up. Now let's continue with the Surya Namaskars. Oh. 
what we should do, we should practice inversions. See, inversions help the, all the, see, we accumulate fluids in the legs because we sit in the chair all day long. When you dangle the feet, what happens? Fluids get accumulated. And your calf muscles and hamstrings are tight, so you get knee pain. So, because of lack of blood flow, you start getting experiencing. So, all these problems go away when you practice inversions. So, let's practice inversions. First, relax. Relax and if you want to practice any other poses, you may do so. Such as um, Apanasana. Take your time, relax. Now uh, bend your knees, place the right foot on the left thigh and very gently bring the left knee into the chest and raise your chin, be gentle. And change, left foot on the right Bring the knee into the chest. And so now, straighten the knees, bring the right knee into the chest. Stay there for a few moments. Inhale. Exhaling, raise the chin. And bring the knee down on the left side. Extend your right arm. Stay where you can. Make sure the right shoulder is completely on the ground. And change. Straighten the right leg. Bring the left knee into the chest. Exhale. And bring the knee down on the right side. Extend your left. Stay where you can. Don't force the knee to come down. Uh, 
and release. So now, let's practice leg lifts in slow motion. Relax the breath. Bring your arms beyond the head, point the feet. And push the hips back. And now muster all your energy. Inhaling, bring the feet to 90 degrees. Hold there for three breaths. Now come to number nine. Imagine there are total 10 numbers. Bring the feet by one inch with no, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. And one. Now bring the palms under your head. Keep looking at your feet. Keep them one inch above the ground. This improves your core. Now cycling wash. And reverse. Now right knee to the right elbow and right knee together. Hold there. Left knee, left knee, left elbow to the left. Stretch the right. Stretch and touch. Stretch, touch. Drop the feet. Now practice the inversions. Start with the bridge pose. Always take a block. Start with bridge pose. This is gentle inversions. You can do headstand. You want to do it, go for it. Completely relax the breath. Now, if you can, if you like, make the block vertical. But if the stretch is too much, do not do that. Practice your... See, you can use a wall to practice your shoulder stand. If you cannot practice it without the wall, use a wall. Keep your feet on the wall and stay there.
and come to Viparetha Karan. So what you do, you come to supported bridge, walk the right foot forward, stay there. Come back, walk the left foot forward. Now if you can, raise both the feet. Keep the body at 45 degrees. As I said, use a wall if you cannot hold without the wall. Practice Kapalabhati here if you can. And into Sarvanga Gati. Let the chin merge into the chest, massaging the Vishuddhi Chakra. See, the Jalandar Bandha, chin to the chest, happens perfectly only in shoulder strength. Minimum, you have to stay here for three minutes. That's how long all the blood from the capillaries takes to get evacuated and come towards the heart. People with thyroid problem, they should do the shoulder strand every day. The thyroid gland gets massaged during the Jalandar one. And practice the counterpose. Place the palms under the hips. Raise the chest. Turn your head inwards. So now what we do, let's practice some gentle pranayams. In the winter, what happens? For water people, the water goes up. So that leads to many issues. So the, all these practices help the water to be under control. During the winter, to start with Kapalvati. I think winter is becoming a little severe now, as expected. Of course, this is January. And there is a winter storm, it looks like, this weekend. We'll see if we can practice remotely. 
So let us start when you are ready. Exhale, chin to the chest, chin lock, squeeze the abdomen, abdominal lock, squeeze the muscles around the anus, perineal lock. Relax. <laughs> Now the second round, Kapalvati. Relax the breath, take a few normal breaths. Then you are ready for the middle lobes. The pranayams bring clarity to mind. Right? So when we don't practice pranayams, what happens? Mind is always either in rajas or tamas. Dullness, all useless thoughts, or too much aggressiveness. I want to do this. So pranayams really help to improve the bring clarity to the mind and improve sattvic nature. So now let us practice in Gomukhas. This helps people with sciatica, right knee on top of left. But if you have any pain, come out of the pose. Stay there, feel comfortable. Okay, now bend the right elbow and start Kapalvati. Release and bend that knee and practice the 
Ardha Machendras. The right arm goes around the left, uh, left arm goes around the right. Stay there. And the counterpose, bring the chest down on the left side. And change. So when you have more time at home, practice a little longer time. So see if you can practice up to one minute. And also remember what is happening when you practice this. Your core is becoming more what you call condition, massage. And your back muscles are relaxing. So you are pulling them down, right? So all these benefits are there and your sciatica nerve is relaxing because we are extending the side canal, not pinching it. Start the other side up to one minute. Do not strain. Relax. Bend that knee and practice Abdhama Chandras. So Abdhama Chandras helps, helps to massage the internal organs, including pancreas, And the counterpoints. So now we have to try some practice. See, this is what happens. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. That simple practice is so powerful. So it, because it activates the vagus nerve, the parasympathetic system. So let's uh, let us practice their Kishwasam and then maybe Yoga Nidra or some Nadi Shodhan Pran. So let us start with 510 as always. 
relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. You will either enjoy breath or silent breath. It's up to you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Now, six and four. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. You cannot sit in Vajrasana, use blocks or sit on the blanket. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Completely relax the breath. Then seven and fourteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Take a few normal breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. No. Eight and sixteen. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now, oh, nine and eighty. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now the final ratio, 10 and 20. Take a few normal breaths, completely relax. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now let's practice three rounds of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Sit, sit on the blanket or in Padmasana if you can. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Come to Vishnu Madhra, bend the index and middle fingers. Uh, Breathe in. Left. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. If you have any strain, avoid holding the breath or hold only for three seconds. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Start exhaling through left. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. And the third round. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing.
Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Now practice five to seven rounds of grammar and then we'll practice yoga nidra. Let's practice yoga nidra. Lie down on the mat, get ready for yoga nidra, switch off the lights. So yoga nidra, even if you have any discomfort, muscle pains, body pains, when you practice yoga nidra, all that goes away. So try not to skip, but if you have to go to work, that's understandable. So yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation, that takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. You are between waking and sleeping. So probably a dreamy stage. And if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, um, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural cover the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed. Allow the feet to fall to the side and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor. Under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, see all those meeting points once again, and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. 
as the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it. Create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now, do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now, bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in the relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be still. Only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger. It will go very quickly now, second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, Second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck. 
and soften the back of the neck, continue with the back of the head also, relaxing, and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head, feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy. It's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril, and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip. And also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting points of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting point between the back of your head and the floor, shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. Intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now, the lips. Center your attention on the line between the lips. The space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breaths. Just bring awareness to the breaths. Now, maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10, second exhalation number 9, continue until 1. Breathe
Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You are, fe you are feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of heaviness. Awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body, in all parts of the body. Your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you are out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you are walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. Completely cold. Bitter cold. Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this 
with detached awareness. So we slowly now become aware of your breathing, become aware of your natural breathing, become aware of your relaxation, feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room without opening the eyes. Feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling. And then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you're sure that you're wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs over to the right side. And then burn the left into the child's pose. Become cozy, casual, and comfortable. You may gently press the left palm and sit up. And we will continue with long chanting. Satoma Sakamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityorma Mrutangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamogachyate Purnasya Purnamalaya Purnameva Vatishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om Thank you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you, Balaji. Thank you, Arne. Yes, Shivana.